27,000 feet in altitude and traveling 530 miles per hour. Discovery on at the 180. On at the 180. Pilot Jim Dutton now taking over controls of the shuttle for a moment. And that call from Capcom Rick Sturco indicates the shuttle has 180 degrees to go in its turn around toward runway 33. All continuing to look good on board Discovery as it makes it wait its way home. 68 miles to go, currently 3 miles in altitude and traveling 420 miles per hour. Discovery, you are on at the 90. On at the 90. And Commander Alan Poindexter now back in control of Space Shuttle Discovery. Just two minutes now until touchdown. Houston Discovery, runway in sight. Roger. Less than a minute and a half until touchdown, Discovery is now descending at a rate 20 times higher and 7 times steeper than what a commercial airline would experience on its final approach. One minute now to touchdown. Discovery's landing gear will be locked down and into place at 300 feet in altitude. It's currently 3,500 3, feet and uh, traveling at a rate of 370 miles per hour. Thirty seconds until touchdown. Main gear touchdown. Pilot Jim Dutton now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. That brings an end to the STS-131 mission, the 131st space shuttle flight, and the 33rd to the International Space Station. Discovery left Florida on April 5th with 7.6 tons of new science equipment and spare parts, including equipment that should improve the station's capability for Earth observation work, equipment that could help astronauts avoid muscle atrophy, and scientists better understand muscle atrophy, and equipment that will help keep the station systems cooling properly. Discovery brings home with it the last large return load from the station, two tons of used equipment. Roger, wheel stop, Discovery, welcome home. Dex, congratulations to you and the crew on an outstanding mission. There are no immediate post-landing deltas. We'll meet you on page 5-3 of the entry checklist. 